part three of Build a Better Van. I'm just going to show you some of the newest things that I've added to the van that have made it much more practical. For the awning, we had these brackets welded that hang on to the pole, but then come through on the bottom side here, and we had to have this little like sort of cross thing made so that a, a washer wouldn't fall through, so it actually holds it to the rail. And I got a lot more room. It was sagging before and it's fully loaded up. New ride height on the back, new bumper on the front. We're at a camp spot in Telluride at the uh, tail end of a two week journey. So the um, swing out bike rack is huge for me and for getting in the back. Normally when I had the bike rack on there before, I could not ever really access the back. I'd kind of go through the interior to get to the back. But this way, Swings the bikes out, bikes out when I'm camping or wherever I'm stopping and stuff, and I can get in the back real easily. Pin goes there. This guy locks to the regular two inch, the medium driver side swing out from one up, um, with the Thule rack on the back. One up also makes really nice bike racks, but this is the one I have, so it works great with it. You get to your spot. You push down on that. You pull the pin. This would have the the protection in it so it doesn't fall out on the highway. And you just swing out. And it's away from you. And then if you're on a hill or whatever, you don't want to that thing to get away from you. So you just hold it. Hold the pin there. See it's all loaded up. That's my little back zone. It's all everything I need to three levels of stuff I need to carry. So this small van is just it's crucial to um, figure out organization because you you have to pack things away and every time you get in and out you're you know kind of readjusting and I do things like this where I put my like bike tools on magnets and other thing is this top box with my roto packs uh, gas cans on them 
which have saved me so many times. Let's go up here and check it out. So I basically got a 30 inch box, ATV, strapped to the back of an ATV truck box, um, storage bin. Up here, I put stuff in here that I'm not gonna need to access all the time. My roto packs are strapped to the side. I then bolt it in. So they're great and sort of out of the way. I just keep like tarps. These are camping chairs. Underneath that's extension cables, tool sets, things like that up here. Cause all that stuff you don't really need in your car. And then if you do like need to access it while you're driving, you don't have to take apart the the interior to find all your stuff because it's hidden away. Um, it did increase my ride height by like quite a bit, so I can't really fit into those underground parking garages very well anymore. Third bike bike rack, this is for the road bike. So I'm here in Colorado and I got a killer deal on some new powder skis, so I picked those up, but I'm just have them strapped to the roof, keep them out of the way. Which is great about this roof rack is I can just, I can just keep strapping stuff to it. Here's kind of a, typical setup to how I travel. Um, as you can see, I've got everything kind of organized in the box and I've got a lot of things hanging now. I just keep installing hooks so that I can just hang stuff because it's really important just to be able to tuck stuff away and you know all the hooks on the back side. So you're kind of always just like trying to figure out ease of access of things. When I get to a camp spot, I'll, use, I'll move like this bag up to the driver's seat and I'll move these two boxes up to the passenger seat so that I can have my full room up. Got an extra camera and some sort of things I need to easily access up front. This is one of the best things I've purchased on the, for the van since, since last we saw is the Domantech fridge. This thing stays on all the time. It's always powered by my solar and I never have to buy ice anymore. And I would highly recommend anybody is doing this kind of thing to get a fridge, invest in the fridge. You can always tell what uh, temperature it's going at in there and you can beef it up, beef it down, change it to Celsius, whatever. It's a, it's a necessity, you know. Buying ice on the road, next thing you know, all your food's all watery. Something, you know, it's just, you never have to worry about it. And then I got like some film up front, so, you know, just kind of all around works wonders. It's been really fun to build this van and also get all this feedback from the public on how they feel about the van, what they're doing to their vans, and questions that they have for me on my van. So I really appreciate everybody reaching out. Uh, I try to answer as much as I can on YouTube and on Instagram. Thanks to those people out there who have approached me on the road. Some of you have seen my videos and you've seen it. Come say hi. I'd love to talk to you about the van, show you around. I know I don't update very often, but I appreciate you sticking around. The reason I don't is because most of the time I am enjoying the van and traveling rather than uh, shooting stuff and uploading it. So the van is at a point where I think it's pretty much perfect. I don't really want to do anything else to it. For the most part, it's my everyday driver van. But for some things, this van is not that practical. And in that case, I will probably not be keeping the van for very much longer. So if anybody out there is perhaps looking for a van like this, you know, maybe this is the van for you. Message me on YouTube or on Instagram, and maybe this Seafoam Safari van could be yours. But I will be doing more Build a Better projects, and maybe you have a project you would like to feature on Build a Better. It's basically about finding something that needs to be improved, tricking it out, and making it better. Because this series will continue, and we will do a lot of things so tune in and see what I'm up to. Thanks for subscribing. Be safe out there.